Hi folks, my name is David Gallant, and welcome to my unboxing of this amazing new set, Magical, from Greg Lake, brought to you by Manticore Records via Spirit of Unicorn Music. This superb set features seven discs in a 10 inch by 10 inch box, accompanied by a 68 page hardcover book. I had the privilege of meeting Greg back in 1996 as ELP toured with Jethro Tull, and they passed through Toronto where I was living at the time. You know the old expression, never meet your heroes? Well, that could not have been further off the mark. Greg was the consummate gentleman, showing genuine interest in all of the fans who gathered backstage after the show for the meet and greet, and he could not have been more engaging. It was a moment I'll never forget. But back to the box set, in addition to Greg's two solo albums, we are treated to three CDs of live material, as well as two discs of classic and incredibly rare material from Greg's time in ELP, King Crimson, Asia, his two pre-ELP bands, The Shame and Shy Limbs, The Ride the Tiger Project with Jeff Downs, some collaborations he did with the members of Toto, and the short-lived Emerson Lake and Powell Project from 1986. The 68-page hardcovered book contains many never-before-seen photos, as well as sleeve notes from Jerry Ewing, editor of Prog Magazine and a renowned British rock journalist. Please, if you could take a moment and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it, as I have a couple of other videos that I think you might be interested in, and a few more Prog-related releases are in the pipeline for the next couple of weeks and months. So without any further ado, Let's jump right into this lovely package. It's great to see you all. And so here we are with Magical from Greg Lake. Just as an aside, I have two other recent box set releases from Spirit of Unicorn Music in my collection. John Wetton's An Extraordinary Life and Keith Emerson's Variations. You can find unboxing videos for both as well on my channel. I can attest to the fact that the label does outstanding work with great care taken to ensure wonderful products. And this set is no exception, as we will see. For starters, as I know many viewers wish to see the entire package, we will have a look at the spine. And then the back cover, which features a lovely photo of Greg and the covers of all seven discs included. Immediately upon opening the package, we are presented with the two parts. The first is the case featuring the seven discs. And the other is the 68 page hardcover book, which we will set aside for the moment. And a quick look around the disc case shows nothing on the spine with covers for Greg's six albums on the back. Now, before going any further, I must point out a small issue in the print run of this edition of the box set. Apparently an error was made where the disc for the first Greg Lake solo CD, up here in the upper left hand corner, was placed in the slip case for the Emerson and Lake Manticore Hall album. And the disc for Manticore Hall was accidentally placed in the main sleeve along with the other six discs. Regardless, all seven different discs are present, and I believe the error has been corrected in later production runs. But of course, it's never a proper unboxing unless we see all of the discs up close. So here we go. First up is Greg's first solo album, Greg Lake. Next was the follow-up, Maneuvers, which would be his second and last studio solo recording. Then we get into the From the Underground bootleg series. Here we have Volume 1. And Volume 2. And now here are the live discs. First up is Songs of a Lifetime, live from Piazenza, 
And then the only disc in the set that is not a Greg Lake solo CD, Greg and Keith Emerson, live from Manticore Hall. And you will also notice that all of the discs in the set have the same design, just different color schemes. And that's the end of the case for the CDs. And we'll turn over to the 68 page hardcover book. And as mentioned in my introduction, the book is accompanied by liner notes from renowned British rock journalist and editor of Prague magazine, Jerry Ewing. Ewing chronicles Lake's entire life within these notes with ample quotes from Lake himself. Here we have the spine and the back of the book. One of my favorite passages has Greg reflecting on his limited solo work outside of ELP in a poignant moment of self-reflection. He says, After these two solo albums, I had no appetite or inspiration for creating popular music in what I saw as an increasingly phony, media-driven world. My philosophy at the time, as indeed it still is today, is that if you have nothing worthwhile to say, then it is better to remain silent. And now at the turn of a few pages, we'll move on to descriptions of the seven discs contained within the box set. First up, of course, is the debut solo album, Greg Lake. Of special note in Greg's hand-picked band was Gary Moore, best known for his work in Thin Lizzy, Gary Moore's lone writing contribution to the album was the lead song and single, Nuclear Attack, which Moore also later recorded on his own. Following Greg's 1981 debut was Maneuvers in 1983, which once more featured Gary Moore on guitar. Maneuvers would stand as Greg's second and last solo studio recording. And next up is the first of two From the Underground albums featuring many rare tracks spanning Greg's impressive career. Songs featured from his established bands such as ELP, King Crimson, Asia, his solo group, and Emerson, Lake, and Powell are all live tracks. Additionally, you will find a track-by-track -track description of this stunning bootleg material, but please don't let the word bootleg bother you. The sound quality is very good. And next up is the second edition of the From the Underground series, again with track-by-track -track descriptions. By the way, if you want to see the entire box set track list, follow the link in the description of this video. During the writing of his autobiography, Lucky Man, Greg struck upon the idea to bring a concert experience to his fans in smaller, more intimate venues. The songs he would perform represented key moments in his career, in addition to a few songs from artists that inspired him. Songs of a Lifetime and Live in Piacenza are both stellar recordings from this tour in 2012. And completing the set of seven wonderful discs in this package is Live from Manticore, featuring Greg and Keith Emerson. Recorded at the legendary Ridgefield Playhouse in Ridgefield, Connecticut, the recording is a collection of essential ELP classics in a pared-down format featuring the two legendary men. The remainder of the book contains more photos, many of them never before seen, including several that Greg's wife had only found in recent times on a roll of undeveloped film left for more than five decades. And several photos are taken from the family's personal collection that were taken at Love Beach in the Bahamas. Of course, Love Beach was also the title of ELP's last album in the 1970s before their touring and recording hiatus, with that album being recorded in Nassau in the Bahamas. We are treated to some intimate photos of Greg with his family and friends also after their return to England. 
And of special note, near the end of the book, are a couple of photos with none other than Ringo Starr, with whom Greg played with his all-star band in 2001. And to finish the book off on a whimsical note, here's a copy of a contract signed between Greg and the members of an early band, Time Checks, when he would have been in his late teens. The contract co-signed by the band members' parents outlines what happens with their collective finances and equipment should a member be fired or decide to quit the band. It appears the band's manager at the time would have been Greg's father, Harry. And that's it for the book. We will now return the book and the disc sleeve to the main box package. And there you have it, folks. An absolutely stunning and gorgeous package. Magical by Greg Lake from Manticore Records via Spirit of Unicorn Music. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all are well.